Hi everyone, it's Sylvia here and welcome to my channel. I know it's been a really long time since I uploaded a video and I feel like I say that almost in every video. I feel like every time I always take like a two month break for some reason and there's no excuse for it. I just, I don't know why I haven't uploaded but Valentine's Day is coming up and I really just got in like the mood and like really just was like I I want to create something for you guys so yeah I don't really have much to say other than a lot of the products not a lot of them there's a few products in this video that are new one of them is is this the wet n wild illuminating palette um it's poop don't buy it it's just complete like shit like There's nothing glowy about this. So I'm going to return it because I really, really was disappointed with it. I, w I really tried with this, but it just didn't work out for me. I think that's the only thing that I wanted to say. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Bye. Yeah, so my brows are done, but they are not drugstore. I'm really sorry. I just couldn't find anything drugstore in time for this video. But anyways... I am priming my face with the Nivea's Men's um, Post Shave Balm. Make sure you do this when you're ready to actually do your foundation. I kind of got ahead of myself here. Now I'm going to take the Milani Plum Basics Palette with a Wet n Wild blending brush. And the first shade that I'm going to take is this brown taupey color. And I'm going to apply it into my crease. Tap off the excess first. So yeah, I'm just gonna apply it in my crease. Windshield wipe the motions just back and forth. And I just keep adding on a little bit as I go. And now I'm going to take the e.l.f. concealer brush, and I love this brush because it's perfect for blending eyeshadows. Once that first shade is blended, I'm going to take the same brush, and I'm going to dip it into this purple shade, cap off the excess, and pretty much I'm putting it right where, like right in the crease where that brown color is, but just a little bit lower. So it's not overpowering that brown color because I still want it to kind of show. So yeah, windshield wiper motions and then I'm going to just wing it out a bit with the eyeshadow if that makes sense. So I'm like stretching it out towards the tail of the brow bone, I mean <laughs> towards the tail of the brow and then in that outer V area. Now I'm going to take that e.l.f. concealer brush again and I'm just going to blend it out again. Sorry if you can hear my birds in the background. <laughs> but I'm just going to take that purple shade again and just keep um, intensifying it as much as possible but not doing it too much so it's not too intense. I'm just going a little bit at a time and I keep going back and forth between this brush with this eyeshadow and just the e.l.f. concealer brush to just blend it out. So yeah, now I'm here with the, I'm sorry, I'm stuttering, but with the e.l.f. concealer brush. Um, with this brush, I don't know where this one's from, but I'm taking a black eyeshadow. Any black eyeshadow will do. I, this is just the only one that I could find. I know that Wet n Wild has a 99 cent um, Black Panther, I think that's, that's what it's called, or it's Panther. But yeah, any eyeshadow, any black eyeshadow will do. With this one, I'm just taking it into the outer V of my eye and then kind of just following that wing with, that I, I did with that purple color. And just do a little bit at a time because it's really easy to mess up with black eyeshadow and we don't want to mess up. We want to look cute for our day. 
So yeah, back to the e.l.f. concealer brush. I use it all the time to blend my eyeshadows. It's just so fluffy. It just works so good. I can't help it. Sorry, guys. And I'm going to go back into that purple color with that Wet n Wild blending brush. And just apply it where I had already applied it. It just felt like with that black eyeshadow and that blending, it kind of um, took over the um, purple that we already had. So yeah, I'm just going to blend again with that same e.l.f. concealer brush. And then I'm going to wipe away any fallout on my cheeks. And then I'm just going to like straighten out that eyeshadow. Like just wipe off like the edges of the eyeshadow. And this also really helps for when you're ready to do your winged liner. It helps because like you already have the line for it, if that makes sense. So, yeah. <laughs> And I'm going to take, again, the e.l.f. concealer brush, and I'm just going to blend it out because I don't want the edges to be too, like, harsh. I want my, my winged liner to cut bitches, not my eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm going to take the e.l.f. setting spray and this Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush. I'm going to spray it a few times. This just helps to intensify any shimmery shadows. And then I'm just going to dab it. <laughs> dab a little bit on my hand just so it's not too wet because I don't want my eyeshadow to like drown in <laughs> setting spray. So this eyeshadow, it's poop. It doesn't really work that good like the other shadows do in this palette. But I try to make it work. I have to like, you can see like I'm like what? Why isn't it like not picking up any products? So like you can see like it's not really picking up much product. So I'm like really just rubbing it in there like really hard trying to get eyeshadow out. I made it work. It's not the best eyeshadow. I mean, the other eyeshadows in this palette are great, just not this one, but I made it work. So now I'm taking that e.l.f. concealer brush again and just blending because I don't want it to be that new shimmery shadow that I just added. I don't want it to be too like, I just want everything to blend well together. <laughs> that's, that's what I meant to say. And now I'm gonna take my Jordana cat eyeliner and I'm gonna do my winged liner. I'm sorry, I don't know how to explain how I do it. I just like make a line toward, like heading towards the tail of my brow, and then I just make another line onto my eyelid, and then I just connect it, and then I fill it in. Don't know really how to explain it, but yeah, just, just watch. <laughs> Then I try to take this Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette and then with an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I tried to do an inner corner highlight with this, but as you can, oh, and a brown bone highlight with this too. But as you can see, it, it, it does nothing. It's just literally powder. Like, I bet you could probably set your face with this and it'd be good. <laughs> now I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I'm just going to apply a few coats of it not too many because I'm gonna apply these kiss lashes in the style peony they're so pretty I love them so much they're probably like my new favorite um eyelashes to wear they're so pretty they just have so many angles to it and that's like what it says on the box too that they come in they're just they're so pretty I'm so mad because I actually lost this pair so I went and bought another one like right away so yeah these are beautiful but any eyelash that you want to do, you can wear. This is just really fluffy and really like full and just very glamorous, but not too much, I feel. At least that's what I feel. But I don't know. I just love these lashes. Now I'm going to use this e.l.f. blush in Pinktastic and just this random brush that I have and I'm going to reapply that inner corner highlight and do a brow bone highlight with this too. And I'm going to blend it out with the e.l.f. concealer brush. 
And I'm going to take the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. I think it's True Match. I don't know. But the Lumi Cushion, the new one that just came out. And I'm in the shade N5.5. And I started using a Real Techniques um, complexion sponge. But oh my god, do not do this. Do not use a sponge with this foundation. It looks so bad. Like, I was actually freaking out as I was applying it. <laughs> but I still keep applying more thinking that I can make it work. I ended up having to switch over to a brush. Which is usually what I do. I always use a brush. I don't know. I just wanted to try with the sponge but it came out horribly and I made it work with the brush it still didn't look that great but at least you can't tell on camera <laughs> so I hope not I forgot to record myself um, using but I applied concealer I just forgot to record it but I'm using a foundation brush from Real Techniques and I used the NYX banana powder to just like in, like highlight underneath my eyes and on the bridge of my nose a little bit on my cupid's bow and on my chin and I'm talking way too fast. <laughs> on the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow, on my chin, like I just said, and on my big ol' forehead. <laughs> now I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade, I think it's 18, and I'm just using a large powder brush from Real Techniques. And I'm going to use this brush from Real Techniques. I don't know what it's called, but I'm using the Milani Glow Bronzer. It's called, it's in the shade Glow. And I'm going to contour with this. This isn't the best contouring bronzer, but it's the only drugstore, actually, yeah, it's the only drugstore bronzer I own. And I really like it. I mean, I think it's pretty. And I'm just contouring my cheeks. And now I'm going to do a little bit on my forehead, on my temples. And I'm going to apply a little bit on the sides of my nose just to give my nose like a slimmer look because it's kind of wide, at least in my opinion it is. <laughs> now I'm going to use the Real Techniques blush brush and a Milani blush called Romantic Rose, I believe that's what it's called. I use this blush like every day. I don't know why. It's, it's really pretty. It's like a, I don't know, to me at least it's a perfect like everyday kind of color. Now I'm going to take this Wet n Wild highlight. It's called... I'll have a Cosmo, I think that's what it's called. It's like five or six dollars at Walgreens, and I'm gonna use this e.l.f. blush brush to apply it. This is how I always apply my highlight, is with this brush. I don't know, it just picks up enough product, and yeah. This highlight isn't super intense, you have to build the intensity, but yeah, I like it. I mean, for a drugstore highlight, it's, it's pretty good. For like five or six dollars, it's not bad. I'm just gonna apply a little bit on my nose. Now I'm gonna take a Physicians Formula eyeliner and I'm gonna use this powder brush to like tug down on my skin, but I, I didn't wanna use my fingers because I didn't wanna like use any, I didn't wanna rub the makeup away when I did it, so that's why I used the brush. So yeah. Now I'm gonna take this like purple mauve color with an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna put it underneath the eyeliner. And then I'm going to take that intense like purple that we put in the crease underneath that other pur purple mauve color. And then I'm going to take a pencil brush and just like smudge it in all together. Now I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and just apply it on my bottom lashes. Then I'm going to take this Jordana Pink Crush or Love Crush lip liner. Um, this isn't my favorite combination, like this isn't my favorite lip color, but I really I couldn't find any of my other Milani uh, lipsticks, so I ended up having to go with the Maybelline Matte Lipstick in the shade um, Clay Crush. Like I said, this isn't my favorite, but it, 
it kind of works in my opinion. So <laughs> yeah. Too hard.